in this video we will discuss about the van de graaff generator robert j van de graaff designed an electrostatic machine that is a van de graaff generator it produces a large electrostatic potential difference of the order of 10 power 7 volt just a two point try to remember robert j van de graaff designed it and what it produce it produces a large electrostatic potential difference of the order of 10 power 7 volt now let us see what is the working principle this van de graaff generator is based on two principle one is the principle of electrostatic induction and the action of points so again you come from the beginning robert j van de graaff produced an electrostatic mission and uh, it produces an electrostatic potential difference of the order of 10 power 7 volt and it works on the based on the two principle one is the electrostatic induction and other is the action of points so before we go to the other part we should also know what is electrostatic induction and the action of point let us discuss the electrostatic induction see electrostatic induction is the production of the charges without any contact for example let us take this is a rod which is neutral suppose if you bring some uh, positive charges nearby it suppose this rod has positive charges okay if this has positive charges immediately this neutral rod will occur a there will be a charge separation before it is neutral now the when the positive charge is brought near to it it will attract the negative charges okay and other side it will have the positive charges suppose if uh, a connection is made and this positive charges are removed then this neutral rod becomes a charged that is it will have a negative charges on it so without any contact we produce the charges this is the electrostatic induction now the action of point is suppose if you have a sharp edge like this okay suppose this is a sharp pointed edge which is having a positive charge because of the sharp edge there will be some leakage of the charges in the around the charged that is around the sharp edge so this air surround it gets ionized ionized mean there will be positive and the negative charge separations will be there okay since this sharp point is already having the positive charge it will attract the negative charge towards itself and what will happen push the positive charge away from it so this is a point this is having a positive charges so it will attract all the negative charges towards itself and it will push away all the positive charge away from it so in this way the charge already present in the this sharp pointed material it is decreasing so in this way the charge is something like leaking from the sharp pointed edge so these are the two principle which we will be discussing in this working principle of the van de graaff generator okay so i explained to you this electrostatic induction and the action of point just for understanding so right now let us concentrate on the working principle of the van de graaff generator okay so it's very simple concept when you are listening to this video automatically all the information will be stored in your mind and you don't make any effort to memorize but automatically it will get stored in your mind so i can reproduce four points what we discussed before one is robert j van am i right one is robert j van who designed the electrostatic machine what it produces it produces a large potential difference of the order of the electrostatic potential of 10 power 7 volt and what are the two working principle it based on the two principle one is electrostatic induction and the action of points it's not simple so we don't uh, uh, struggle to memorize all the things when you listen to this video you can understand clearly and you can reproduce all the points one after the other so whenever i try to reproduce you also tell in your mind so that we can easily remember okay now let us observe this diagram so what and all it has to some extent okay so we have a uh, some circle uh, uh, 
സർക്കുലർ പുള്ളി ബെൽറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഇൻസുലേറ്റിംഗ് പില്ലർ ആൻഡ് സം ഷാർപ്പ് പോയിൻറ്റഡ് ഹിയർ ഡി ഇ ഓൾ ദ സിങ് ഓക്കെ നോ ലെറ്റ് എസ് സി വാട്ട് ആർ ഓൾ ദ കോമ്പോണൻറ്റ് പ്രസൻറ്റ് ഹിയർ ഓക്കെ സി ദിസ് വാൻഡിഗ്രാഫ് ജനറേറ്റർ ഹാസ് എ ഹോളോ മെറ്റാലിക് സ്പിയർ ഇറ്റ് ഹാസ് എ ഹോളോ മെറ്റാലിക് സ്പിയർ മൗണ്ടഡ് ഓൺ ദ ഇൻസുലേറ്റിംഗ് പില്ലർസ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഹാവിങ് എ ഹോളോ മെറ്റാലിക് സ്പിയർ മൗണ്ടഡ് ഓൺ എ ഇൻസുലേറ്റിംഗ് പില്ലർ ഡു യു സി ദാറ്റ് ഇൻ ദ ഡയഗ്രാം ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ ഹോളോ മെറ്റാലിക് സ്പിയർ ഓക്കെ ഐ റൈഡ് ഇൻ ദ ഷോർട്ട് ഫോം ഹോളോ മെറ്റാലിക് സ്പിയർ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് മൗണ്ടഡ് ഓൺ ദ ഇൻസുലേറ്റിംഗ് പില്ലർ ഡു യു സി ദ ഇൻസുലേറ്റിംഗ് പില്ലർ ഹിയർ ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ ഇൻസുലേറ്റിംഗ് പില്ലർ ഓക്കെ ഇറ്റ്സ് വെരി ഈസി ടു ഡ്രോ ഇറ്റ് വൺസ് ഇഫ് യു ഫിനിഷ് ദിസ് പർട്ടിക്കുലർ കോൺസെപ്റ്റ് then we have a pulley b okay is mounted at the center of the spear and another pulley c mounted at the near the bottom so we have two pulleys do you see the two pulleys here the pulley b here on the center this is a pulley b and uh, there is another pulley c at the bottom this is a another pulley c at the bottom okay so it's not easy i can reproduce the uh, three uh, two points what we discussed it is having a hollow metallic spear how it can be simply placed in the air it has to be mounted so it is mounted by the insulating pillar that's it and it has two pulley one at the top and other at the bottom that is b and c that's it now there is a belt made of silk moves over the pulley isn't it do you see the belt this belt which is connecting two pulley that's it then we have the pulley c is driven continuously by the electric motor again simple whenever there is a pulley in the belt somebody has to drive it so that is done by the pulley c is driven continuously by the electric motor so this pulley is c is made to rotate so the uh, belt b uh, belt is connected so the another pulley also gets rotated okay so that the metallic spear gets the pulley at the metallic spear also gets rotated okay now uh, we have two comb shaped conductors de having number of needles are mounted near the pulley so do you see that uh, two comb shaped uh, metallic conductor here the d is here and e is here so it is having a very sharp pointed edge so that it uh, the action of point principle works here okay now the comb d is maintained at positive potential of the order of 10 power 4 volt by a power supply so we give a power supply positive terminal here okay to the comb d and the negative terminal is earth now the upper comb e is connected to the inner side of the hollow metallic spear okay so this is the till here is the description about the diagram so if you want i can do the little uh, uh, explanation about the diagram see you can very easily put the diagram we know there is a metallic spear okay it is mounted by the insulating pillar okay there are two pulleys one at the center another at the bottom and it is connected by the belt okay there are two sharp comb like metallic conductor one is e and another is d okay and this is connected to the positive terminal of a battery and its negative is grounded okay and uh, what else we have seen there is a electric motor which drives the pulley c that's it so these are things we discussed then because of the high electric field near the com d so where is the com d actually d is here B- bottom is d here the top metallic conductor is e okay it is a comb like structure so positive terminal is connected to the com d i'll put the diagram here this is a d okay this is the comb d what will happen it is having a positive charge in it okay but it is very sharp edge so action of point will work so the air 
surrounding this gets ionized and negative charges are attracted towards the metallic conductor and it will repel the positive charge am i right this is what we discussed in the action of points action of point means the air surrounding the metallic conductor ionized and the opposite charge will be attracted towards that conductor and the same charge will be repelled away so the d is having the positive charge and it is repelled away okay so when this repelled charges it will continue to go along with the belt do you see that the positive charges move along with the belt and it will reach the e when it reaches the e what will happen so again i'll put a diagram here this is the e and uh, what will happen so now the positive charges are reaching here okay so when the positive charges are reaching here by the electrostatic induction the negative charges will be created in the metallic conductor which is the conductor e so the other side the positive charge will be accumulated and it will be collected in the sphere metallic sphere so in this way do you see that the sphere acquires the positive charges which is uh, distributed on the outer surface so all the outer surface has the positive charge so this is in this way the charges are produced let us discuss here so high electric potential at the comb t air gets ionized due to the action of point the negative charges in the air move towards the needle and the positive charge repelled it on the belt so the positive charges and it reaches the comb e as a result the comb acquires a negative charge and the sphere acquires a positive charge very simple so the outer sphere has a positive charge and a high electric field again one more thing high electric field of the comb e ionizes the air so the comb e having the negative isn't it so it again ionizes the air and it will neutralize all the charges so that the descending belt on the other side do you see the descending belt on the other side i'll just use a different color here do you see this is the descending side of the belt this has no charge do you understand why it is no charge because the comb e is having a negative charge so it will ionize the air surrounding it so it will ionize the air i'll show you the text it will ionize the air okay so the negative charges are repelled to the belt you you got the point because the comb uh, e is having the negative charge so it will attract the positive charge and it will repel the negative charge towards the belt and already belt is having the positive charge so that will neutralize and the belt passes without any charge on the other side so the descending belt will have no charge it is uncharged okay so in this way the machine continuously transfers the positive charge to the sphere as a result we get a uh, keep on increasing charge and uh, as a result the potential of the sphere increasing till it attains the limiting value that is a maximum and uh, sometime when more charges are there there can be leakage so to avoid the leakage the sphere can be enclosed it in a gas filled steel chamber at the very high pressure okay and the high voltage produced in the generator can accelerate the positive charges for the purpose of the nuclear disintegration that's it okay see i can explain you again very quickly so student who are going to write the exam should be prepared in such a way that they have to understand and uh, they have to reproduce what they studied i can clearly show you the point and you can verify whether i am missing any point and you can also tell along with me first heading van de graaff generator who designed it robert j van de graaff okay what it produces it produces the 10 power 7 volt the order of electric uh, potential difference of the order of 10 power 7 volt okay it works on what it works on the two principle what are the two principle one is the electrostatic induction and another is the action of point okay now it coming to the description they talk about the uh, diagram that is it is having a hollow metallic sphere it is mounted on the insulating pillar and it is having two pulleys one at the top another at the bottom and it is having a belt okay 
and there is a motor which is driving the pulley c this is the pulley c and this is a pulley b on the metallic spear and uh, there is a, a comb like uh, metallic spear which is connected to the positive terminal and the other negative terminal is grounded and uh, there is another comb and which is connected to the spear this is what the you have to explain the diagram okay how it works so this is having the positive charge so when the positive charges are given here you can name the comb in any manner okay here it is named as uh, uh, in the bot uh, bottom it is d and the next it is e and uh, so i am using it even if you name it in the other way also doesn't matter so comb like structure metallic sphere d what will happen it will have the positive charge so it will repel the positive charge towards the belt and i explained all the concept why it is repelling the positive charge because it will by it and it attract the positive charge or sorry it attract the negative charge and the positive charge are repelled towards the belt when it reaches the belt there is another uh, metallic uh, comb like structure which is e okay what happen when the positive charge reaches here this will acquire the negative charge and the it will transfer the positive charge to the sphere isn't it and what happens to the negative charge again it will ionize the air surrounding it so it will repel the negative charge on the belt and uh, already belt is having the positive charge so it will neutralize so the descending belt so when that belt is going like this here it goes with the positive charge but while coming it comes without any charge so here there is no charge present in this way it continues to work and it will accumulate more charges on the po positive metallic sphere so what happens after this uh, we described about the diagram we explained about the working principle then uh, uh, there can be some leakage when more and more charges are accumulated to avoid the leakage what can be done that uh, to avoid the leakage the whole thing can be placed in the gas filled uh, uh, chamber okay uh, gas filled steel chamber at the very high pressure so that the loss can be reduced so what uh, where we are going to use this high voltage produced to accelerate the positive ion please make a note in one mark they will ask to accelerate the positive ions like protons neutrons for the purpose of the nuclear disintegration okay so if you listen twice or thrice you don't have to study after that everything will be automatically stored you can take pen and paper you can start reproducing all the points whatever you studied and you can verify with your textbook okay so please visit our site a l e x m a t h s like smacks.com so where more videos and the online classes will be conducted thank you for watching this have a nice time